Hey guys, even here, so the prejudging of the Classic Physique 2024 Arnold Classic has started and we have a really interesting call out and a very strange thing happened here Wesley Wissers ended up in the center of the first call out it seems like he's beating both Urs Kletzinski and Brion Ainsley and potentially even Ramon Dino it's not impossible, but to answer the question can he win the Iron Classic? In my opinion, probably not. I'm pretty sure Ramon Dino has got this, but, but Wesley Wizards improved so much. What the hell even happened to this guy? I'm so amazed, so surprised. I did not see this coming, but as soon as he stepped on the stage, I was like, wow, wow, Wesley brought really good conditioning, his best conditioning I ever saw up to date, and really good fullness. And I do believe he's beating Urs because he has the pop, he has the fullness, the roundness, maybe worse is a little bit harder, maybe has better legs, tighter glutes, but just to compare the backs right here, Wesley's back is the widest, the biggest, the fullest, and overall in all other poses really, his physique is drawing the most attention, absent eyes, yeah, worse has great legs, Wesley's legs are his weakest point basically, but he's just still drawing more attention because he's a big man, he has the fullness, he has the classic lines, I mean, I, I always thought he was very classic, but on stage, he didn't look this good, never before, he really came together for this show, he made improvements everywhere, basically, he brought really good conditioning, the best ever, and he brought really good fullness, which I think both of those things are very important in classic physique, or seems very flat, like too flat, Ramon brought good fullness, but I don't know, Wesley is a bigger man, and probably is fuller, rounder, so I wouldn't be surprised if Wesley won the Arnold Classic, I mean, I would love to see that happen, but... I don't know, because Wesley has that one issue, he always had it, his lower body is not as impressive as his upper body, and Ramon is kind of closing the gap because of that, because Ramon is very good in the upper body, he's also full and shredded just as much as Wesley, maybe he's not as big, as, as wide right here, but his lower body is better than Wesley's, and like structurally speaking also, he's probably a little bit better, but I think Ramon's legs are a bit flatter here at this show, than they usually are, Wesley's waist is not exactly the smallest here, and I think that's why he can't win this, I don't know what Urs is doing, he, he's tilting too much, he's probably trying to face a certain judge, I don't know what he's doing, but he's not posing the best way, once again, very flat, Brion, yeah, he made a top call out, the first call out, the top four, Michael the Bull didn't, but he also brought a very good package, I think he's at the top of the second call out, most likely fifth spot, but he just doesn't have those classic lines, that completeness, I mean I love this guy, I love how persistent he is, and he's climbing up that ladder, maybe in the future he's gonna do something like Wesley Wisters just did, but as for right now, out of top four, this is the guy, this is the guy that really blew my mind, honestly, look at this uh, posing routine, he finally cracked it, he finally brought it in every freaking sense, fullness and conditioning, I mean this is what they're looking for in classic physique, I think this is like a perfect peak, I don't think he could have picked any better, also the lighting here at this stage is very good, but it's only the expo stage, I don't know how good it's gonna be uh, in the open division, but you know, at least here it's very good, so everybody looks in good condition, but everybody basically brought it, everybody is really shredded, which is usually the case in classic, but not everybody is always very full, just like in this show, Wesley, however, is, and with his shape, with his beautiful structure, look at his pose, very very classic, and with those small improvements, he really made his proportions look better, still the legs are a weak point, quads are a bit smaller, glutes could be bigger and more separated, but this is not open division, how important are shredded glutes really, and massive legs, Urs is basically known for his legs, they are big, they are very separated, but today he really didn't bring the fullness, he really came in super flat, the glutes are shredded, and sure his legs are more compact, more proportionate than those of Wesley, but still, he is way too flat, way too flat, I mean look at the glutes here, like he's peeled, no doubt about that, his hamstrings are separated, legs are big proportionally speaking, and the back is also peeled, but there is no fullness, there is no pop, so yeah, at this show I'm pretty confident that Wesley just surpassed 
Urs Kaletsinski, guys, that's a, that's a big achievement. So what's gonna happen at the Mr. Olympia? Is Wesley gonna be top three? What if he beats Ramon? What if he wins this? Is he gonna be the next guy to challenge Chris Bumstead? Are we gonna have a top two call out Wesley and Chris Bumstead? I don't know, I don't think so. I think Wesley needs to improve his legs a little bit more to be able to stand next to Chris and to actually give him a run for his money, but I don't know, he could win this show. Maybe he's what they're looking for. Maybe they're gonna be too amazed with his classic shape and lines and just like Arnold Schwarzenegger has an effect on judges to choose more classic pretty looking physiques, aesthetic physiques in the open, maybe he has a say in classic physique, you know, maybe he likes Wesley's physique because, you know, it kinda looks like Arnold's physique a lot. It's really a golden era type of physique with the conditioning that is required in classic physique now and with a lot of fullness which is not something you see very often in classic physique, usually guys are super shredded, not everybody knows how to come in full and separated and detailed, and Wesley just did that, so he blew my mind, but I'm not saying he is going to win this necessarily, it's more likely to be Ramon Dino, because he's the defending champ, his legs are more proportionate to his upper body, he just beats Wesley in that department from the front, from the back, from the side it's pretty close if you ask me, but you know upper body they are very very close, I don't know, I think I would go as far as to say that Wesley looks better than Ramon in the, in the upper body at least, you know he has that crazy fullness, crazy pop everywhere, like shoulders are popping, look at the arms right here and the chest, his chest is super full and really lean and separated, and look at the lower body in the side pose, it's also Wesley is showing a lot of details in the glutes, hamstrings, everything is looking really good in the side poses, from the back, Wesley's back is extremely wide, what is this, like this is crazy wide, crazy width man, but again lower body is a bit of an issue, like the glutes could be more separated, the legs could be just, you know, a little bit more round, maybe they're a little bit stringy, but I also feel like Ramon didn't really bring his best leg fullness, I think his legs are a bit flat, a little bit smaller than usual, so overall I feel like Wesley has a fighting chance at the title of the Arnold Classic, most likely he's gonna be second, and I have Urs in third, Brion in fourth, and Michael the Bull in fifth. What do you guys think? Tell me down below in the comment section. Are your minds blown as mine with Wesley Whistler's and what he brought to this stage? Whatever you guys think about classic physique, Arnold classic prejudging, tell me down below in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for the best coverage of Arnold Classic on YouTube, guys, please subscribe to this channel. See you tonight at the open prejudging. All the best, guys. See you soon and bye bye.